Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have another service call for a two pipe fan coil unit. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. As you can see it says the heat is on, fan is on auto and it's on. I can hear it running. It's set to 80 degrees, but it's 61 degrees inside here. It is super cold and it feels like cold air is blowing out. The system is currently in cooling operation. So this is a two pipe fan coil unit. So the chiller right now for the building is on, but in between seasons, right now we're in between winter and summer, you sometimes have those you know, warm out cold days so in this system we have emergency electrical heat and clearly that is not coming on so let's see what's going on all right this is a relay that's upside down but these little led lights are on from my experience one is for cooling one is for heating they're both energized so we're, thermostat is set to heating actuator is up there I know when it's open when the stem is fully free so we're <laughs> okay I caught that so we're calling for heating but the water valve is open and all these lights are on when it comes to heating we use this relay up here when it comes well, as far as emergency electrical heat, we use that relay up there. This relay was field installed and it should be for heating, cooling, but let's check. Volts AC, I wanna check across the coil. We're, we're calling for heating, so this should be energized. Are we mixing or is just nothing going on here? Zero volts. This coil is not being energized. And this does get tricky with the pipe sensors right there. Those are the pipe sensors. All right, what I wanna do is just see if this heater even works before we even get into these wires. So I'm gonna put my amp meter across the heater wire, right? Set it to amps AC. And what I'm gonna do is bypass the contacts. So we're gonna send 120 volts to this heater and let's see if we pull amps so then we could actually fix this properly because what if we do all this and the heating doesn't even work the electrical heat strip so let's do that where's the power i'm gonna flip the switch off put the jumper cable across the two terminals let's flip this back on okay we got nine amps you see i just turned it back off so the heat strip does work we don't know if the heater works yet, but we gotta send 24 volts. Excuse me, it's actually a 120 volt coil. There's no transformer here. We gotta send 120 volts to that coil. So let's trace out that wiring. It looks like this could be either wiring issue or possibly a bad pipe sensor. 120 volt coil, so the white wire, right, gets connected to all these neutrals, but then this black wire right here Something's being held out or it's just not wired right. So what I need to do is trace that out. So this wire. Goes here. And it's coming off this pipe sensor. That might be a bad pipe sensor. I just took out that pipe sensor. I think the blue is common. I got my meter on resistance on uh mm -hmm. continuity so between black uh, blue and red we got something and nothing between blue and white and nothing between red and white so i think this is common and just like this i got hot water on but we want to see if this thing switches over to the white with the hot so we got nothing yet but let's let that thing heat up
I thought I heard something. Let's see if we still got continuity here. Oh, we do. Let's see if that continuity goes away. When it senses heat. I'm telling you, that water is super hot right now. See, it's not switching over. It's staying between these two. All right, here's some pipe sensors I took off an old unit in this building. Unfortunately, it's not the same one. This one has red, blue, black. This has red, blue, white. So we're gonna run a couple tests on here because I'm not really sure how this works exactly. There's no diagrams here, nothing. So right now, this is a cup of ice water. We're in chilled water season. So this is the original setting this thing should be in. So resistance, continuity. All right. I believe this one is common. Okay, and nothing between these. So when it senses the water's cold, it's gonna go in through the blue, out through the red, or in through the red, out through the blue. Actually, I think this is the common. So it comes in through common, and then it decides where it should go. If it's uh, if it's cooling mode, you know, sense of one of those. Any, it sends it actuator. If it, anyways, let me not get ahead of myself. This is getting a little crazy now. We're gonna run the next test. We're gonna heat this up with a lighter. We don't wanna burn the thing, but we wanna heat it up and see if we get continuity from blue to white. And it might just be, a, you know, this thing is not switching over. So, continuity. And let's heat this thing up. We're putting, literally putting a lighter to it right now. So let's see. Hold on, what on. Two thousand years later. I actually just heard a beep. Keep that on. Didn't switch over though. I literally heard it switch. Mm -hmm. And it didn't. I'm just gonna run a similar test to this one. I wanna see how this works too. Got black, red, and blue. I think black is common. Seeing black and red, nope. Seeing black and blue, we have continuity. Let's heat that thing up and see if we lose it. All right. Let's heat this thing up. Let's see if we switch contacts. Still beeping. Sorry. It's hot? Yeah. All right. Right there. You see we lost continuity? Now let's check between black and red. See, now we have continuity here. That's the way this works. Turn it off, turn it off. That's it. So we're good. So we got continuity between black and red now. Put it in the ice water. Let's see if we lose it. That's the way it's supposed to work. Gotcha. All right, right there. And let's see if it stops. Right there. Mm. So now we should have continuity between these. And we do. The other one we put the fire for so long, you know? That thing didn't didn't switch. Alright, so the way I'm seeing this right now, if I follow the black wire, right, it goes into the white. It goes into the white. Right now I have continuity between blue and red. So what happens, we're not getting it's not sensing it through here. So it has to sense the cold pipe. So, so if we're putting on, all right, we're gonna put it on heating, but it's sensing cold water. If it opens up the actuator, you're gonna get cooling, like we have here. It's 60 degrees in the room. It's supposed to sense the, the cold water, 
And, but when you put it to heat, instead of sending it to the actuator, it's gonna say, uh-uh, it's cold. We can't open that up. So we're gonna send it through this wire and energize that relay. It's hard to see because we got the thermostat a little. So I got the heat on, set to 70, room temp 63. This was a bit difficult and tricky, but we got the unit running right now. As you can see, we got 8.2 amps for the heater and the water valve is closed. And you can see, we only have the light, one light this time for heating. This is how it looks right now. I know it's a bit crazy, but I had to figure that out. Ice water and lighter. That was it with a bunch of thinking. So since the control failed, it tricked me. I thought that the blue was common, but it's not true. The red on that control was common and it threw me off. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So right now we put the system on heat, electrical heater, relay, energized. Heater started, got 8.2 amps, and the water valve closed, so we should get good heat. Hopefully you guys can see, but we got 85.5 degrees and rising, so we have heat. Excuse the positioning, <laughs> we're just like this. So I put the system on cooling, set it down to 51. Let's see what's going on. As you guys can see, hopefully you can, but I got 56.1 degrees, almost instantly. So we definitely have cooling and we have heating. When it comes to these two pipe fan coil units, I wanna test it in heat because that's electrical emergency heat. And what you gotta do is always make sure that these actuators are not squeezing any cold water by. So if you're not getting a good temperature in heating mode, if it's an electrical heater, you wanna check to see if it's water squeezing by through that actuator. Yeah. All right, got everything closed up. Put all that stuff back. Heating and cooling both operate and we're ready to roll. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.